In this section on the settings page, the categories section, uh, this is where you can specify different types of categories that are related to your products and materials that you have on your account. In the example that we have for our demo data, you'll see a few that are already preloaded, such as something specified as a component. So maybe, for example, um, in a manufacturing facility where you have um, items that are small, but they get added to the product in the manufacturing process, they might be specified in a category called components. Or in our case, the products that we have are classified as tables and chairs. If we're creating a coffee manufacturing company, the coffee manufacturer might have two types of customers that they sell to, which would be an end customer and maybe a B2B customer. And they could have possibly two product categories, one being packaged goods and the other one being uh, bulk or loose goods. Um, if they're selling the already retail package type, or in this case, uh, the second one, um, maybe like loose bags of bulk roasted coffee, that would go to another packager. So there's very many different and useful ways, depending on the business, to use the categories um, section to help uh, your business case when you're adopting Katana as a platform for your company, for your manufacturing company. Some customers are actually using categories to help uh, specify what stage of the manufacturing process a product might be in. So for example, um, you could have a product that is broken down and as the fact that it's broken down, the mid-level or semi-finished state of it, which still isn't sellable, but you need to do manufacturing more manufacturing to it to get to it to have it as a sellable state. Uh, this is a place where they might put uh, semi-finished good level one out of three, for example, and it helps them organize their um, their items list. For example, on the items page or the stock page, which you'll see in later videos. You can add new categories from this page as well, or anytime you're adding a new material or a new product into Katana's platform, this field is automatically available and you can add it from that location and it will populate here in this, uh, in this section on the settings page. You can also delete these two as you wish. And, um, and yeah, it's pretty straightforward and quite easy to use.